Hello everyone, this is lecture 3 on topic time and work. Today we'll discuss an interesting case where people will do work on alternate basis. To understand this concept, I'll share two problems. Please make sure to listen them completely as there will be some value additions which come in handy during exams. So that's the agenda, let us start. So let us start this session by first understanding what is alternate work. Uh, and to understand this, let us use this example. A can do a piece of work in 6 days while B can do it in 8 days. So let me first write down the data. A can do a piece of work in 6 days while B can do the same piece of work in 8 days. Now read the condition. They both work on alternate days. Alternate means at a gap of 1. With A beginning the work. So who will start the work? A will start the work. So on the first day, what you have to understand, A will start this work. But on second day, A will not come. Now B will do the job on second day. Then again, the same pattern would be followed. A, B, A, B. And in this manner, they keep on doing this work till the time the work is completed. Now the first step should be, most of us are already aware, is to assume the value of total work. How to assume total work? By taking LCM of these two numbers. 6 and 8 LCM, it's 24. So let me assume the value of work as 24 units. Now using this information, what I can do, I can calculate efficiency for A and B. 24 divided by 6, 4 units per day. 24 divided by 8, 3 units per day. So what are these? These are efficiency values. What efficiency tells us? It tells us how much work can be done by the given person. So looking at the efficiency number, what I can tell you, A can do 4 units of work in one day, while at the same time B can do 3 units of work in one day. So if you look at this pattern, on the first day it is A who has started the work. So can I say only 4 units of work must be completed? Now if you look at the second day, on second day it is B who has started the work. So when the second day is over, can I say that B must have done 3 units of work? Because this is what the efficiency of B tells us. And they will keep on doing work in this pattern. 4 unit, 3 unit. Till the time 24 units of work is completed. It means when the sum of these numbers is equals to 24, they will stop doing the work. But then the problem with this approach is, if I keep on adding these numbers until I reach to 24, it will take some time. It will be a lengthy process. So let's think about a better way to answer this question. Now the way I want you to solve this question is, first I want you to see who is starting the cycle. The cycle of doing the work. You would say A has started the work. And then B is ending the cycle. Isn't it? So if I ask you how much work is completed by the two in this one complete cycle, you would say sir 7 units of work. 4 plus 3 is 7. So 7 units of work is completed by A and B in how many days? What is the length of the cycle? You would say sir in 2 days. Here you need to be a little careful. This is a place where many students make mistake. A student could say, sir if in 2 days A and B are completing 7 units of work, so it means in 1 day he can complete 3.5 units of work. This would be wrong. Because guys if you see A is completing 4 units of work not 3.5. So this would be wrong. So do not commit this mistake. What we are going to use, we'll use work done by A and B in one complete cycle. Seven unit of work is completed by A and B in two days. This is work done in one complete cycle. Now the next step is, since we want to complete this work, 24 unit. So let us see how many cycles of seven units are required. And for that only, we'll think about a multiple of seven, which is very close to 24 or exactly 24. 7 ki table mein aane wala ek aisa number ya to jo 24 ho aur agar 24 nahi hai 24 se chota number you would say sir 7 into 3 because 7 ki table mein 24 nahi aata hai you would say 7 into 3 and since I am multiplying left hand side by 3 so I will multiply right hand side value with 3 as well. So can I say that 21 units of work is completed yes in how many days in 6 days. So this 3 is actually representing number of cycles. How many cycles we are using? 3 cycles. What is the length of 1 cycle? 2. So for 3 cycles it is going to be 6 days. It means 21 units of work is completed by A and B in 6 days. 
सो प्लीज फोकस हेयर आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर यूनिट ऑफ वर्क ट्वेंटी वन यूनिट ऑफ वर्क इज ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड हाउ मच वर्क इज लेफ्ट यू वुड से सर थ्री यूनिट ऑफ वर्क इज लेफ्ट टू बी कंप्लीटेड नाउ नाउ हु विल डू दिस जॉब सम ऑफ यू आर थिंकिंग सर वाई वी आर नॉट यूजिंग दिस सेवन यूनिट्स द प्रॉब्लम इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क लेफ्ट is less than the work which can be done in this cycle in one cycle they can complete seven units of work but the work which is left to be done is only three units and therefore now i'm going to ask a and b to come one by one so tell me one thing sixth day ke end mein kaun kaam kar raha hoga tum bologe sir cycle ka end b ne kiya hoga means sixth day b ne kaam kiya hoga if i ask you who will come on seventh day now you will say ki sir kyunki sixth day b kaam kar raha tha इट मीन सेवेंथ डे अब ए आएगा और ए एक दिन में कितना काम कर सकता है ए कैन कंप्लीट फोर यूनिट ऑफ वर्क अच्छा हाउ मच वर्क इज लेफ्ट टू बी डन यू वुड से सर थ्री यूनिट नाउ प्लीज फाइंड हाउ मच टाइम वुड बी टेकन बाई ए टू कंप्लीट थ्री यूनिट ऑफ वर्क यू ऑल डी नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट टाइम इन न्यूमरेटर वी आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन दी वैल्यू ऑफ वर्क टू बी डन कितना काम बचा है थ्री यूनिट Who is doing the job? A. A. एक दिन में कितना काम कर सकता है वट इज द स्पीड ऑफ ए फोर यूनिट पर डे सो टू कंप्लीट थ्री यूनिट ऑफ वर्क एट दिस रेट हाउ मच टाइम वुड बी टेकन बाई ए यू वुड से जस्ट टेक थ्री बाई फोर्थ ऑफ द डे नॉट टेक द इंटायर डे वाई बिकॉज इफ यू सी द वर्क विच हैज टू बी कंप्लीटेड इट इज ओनली थ्री यूनिट एंड ए कैन डू फोर यूनिट इन वन कंप्लीट डे लेकिन क्योंकि काम फोर यूनिट से कम है So why would he take the complete day? He'll take some less time, and therefore he has completed the work in three fourth of the day. Means seventy five percent of the day is consumed. So if I ask you how much time is taken by A and B to complete this job, twenty one plus three, twenty four units of work is completed in six whole three by four days. I know some of you are confused. Sir, where is the plus sign? even if you mention the plus sign i i hope you are already aware that we can remove this plus sign because this is the mixed fraction form 6 whole 3 by 4 and by default in a mixed fraction form we have a plus sign here so you can remove it so the final answer of the question can be represented as 6 whole means 6 complete days and of the 7 day they have just taken 3 by 4th part this is what the answer represent the same answer can be written as 6.75 days isn't it because 1 by 4 is 0.25 so what would be 3 by 4 3 times therefore 0.75 so either this or this would be given to you as the answer option so mark an answer and move forward so i hope you were able to understand this now another thing which i wanted to realize instead of a let's say it is b who has started the job would it change anything in my question what i'm trying to tell you but before that let me remove this irrelevant data let me use this space now so what i'm saying instead of a let's say it is b who has started the job followed by a and then use the same pattern will it going to change the answer of your question let us check so b can complete three units of work while a can complete four units of work in this way you can keep on writing this until you reach to 24 same setup but what i told you instead of doing this question manually we'll try to find out the work done in one complete cycle you would say sir the cycle is started by b and it is ended by a here and therefore if you ask me what is the work done in one complete cycle you will say sir 3 plus 4 7 units so how would you write it down you will say sir 7 units of work is completed in 2 days same thing what is the next step the next step is now you'll think about a multiple of 7 which is close to 24 because this is the amount of work which we want to complete a multiple of 7 which is close to 24 you already know it's third because if i think about the fourth multiple 7 into 4 is 28 which is more than 24 so i'll think about a multiple which is exactly 24 or it should be less than 24 so 7 into 3 21 units of work is completed in how many days in 6 days you would say sir until here i cannot see any difference everything is same but now i want you to realize something since the work is started by b can i say now on the 7th day it is b who will do the job so if you try to find 
how much time would be taken by B to complete three units of work? From where did I get three units? Because the total work is 24. Out of 24, 21 units is completed. How much work is left? Three units. So how much time would be taken by B? You would say, sir, the work to be done is three units. The efficiency of B is three units per day. Can I say that B will consume the entire day because his efficiency is less, his speed is low. So we'll take the entire day. And therefore, in this case, the answer of your question would be 24 units of work will be completed in seven days. And now if you compare the answers of two cases, case one where A has started the work, case two where B has started the work. Apart from this, everything was same. You would realize that I'm getting two different answers. My answer is getting changed. So can I say or can I conclude that the answer of problems based on alternate work may be dependent on who has started the work? Now, some of you might be thinking, sir, why you are using word may? And for that only, let me show you one more problem. And then I'll conclude. Read this problem. A can do a piece of work in 20 days, while B can do it in 30 days. They both work on alternate days with A beginning the work. When will the work get completed? So it's a complete same setup. Nothing changed. What I want, I want you to think about both the cases. Case 1, when A has started the work. Case 2, when B has started the work. And then I want you to compare the answers. Whether you will get different answer or same answers. Please check. So let me write down the data. A can do a piece of work in 20 days. While B can do it in 30 days. First step. Assume the LCM. LCM would be 60 units. Find the efficiency. 3 units per day, 2 units per day. In case 1, I'm assuming just take the statement A has started the work. Then B and this pattern will continue until the 60 units of work is completed. How much work can be done by A in one day? You would say, sir, 3 units. While B can do 2 units of work. So find work done in one complete cycle. Five units of work can be completed in two days. Right. What is the next step? The next step is now you'll think about a multiple of five, which is exactly 60 or it should be a value less than 60. But this time, if you think you would say, sir, there is a multiple of five, which gives me the exact value. A multiple of five, which is 60, it's the 12th multiple. So 60 units of work is completed. In how many days? You would say, sir, in 24 days. So the answer of case one, when A has started the work, is 24 days. Now what I want, I want you to look at this case also, where instead of A, it is B who has started the job. And then they are working alternatively. And see whether I'll get a different answer here or the answer would remain same. B can do two units of work, A can do three units. So what is the work done in one complete cycle? You would say, sir, five units. 5 units of work is completed again in 2 days. What is the next step? Now you'll think about a multiple of 5 which is 60. You would say sir a multiple of 5 which is 60 is 12th. So let's multiply right hand side value with 12 as well. Can you see that this time for both the cases my answer is same. My answer is not changing. So what is the reason behind this? In one question the answer is same. While in the previous question if you remember I was getting different answers. So the reason is, please see this thing carefully. If you look at the work done in one complete cycle, please focus on this value. What is this? This is work done in one complete cycle. If I ask you, can it divide total work completely? Can 560 ko completely divide kar sakta hai? You would say yes. So in such situations, my answer is not dependent who has started the work. Chahe A start kare, chahe B start kare, mera question ka answer change nahi hoga. Unlike in the previous case, please focus on this part. If you see work done in one complete cycle here, it is 7 units. Now please again check, kya 724 ko completely divide kar sakta hai? The answer is no. Or isi is case mein, my answer is dependent on who has started the job. And that is why I had concluded the answers of problems based on alternate work may be dependent on who has started the work. Kab wo dependent hoga? Jab a complete cycle ka work cannot divide total work completely. Lekin aise cases mein, jahan pe work done in one complete cycle can completely divide total work value. 
in such setup my answer is not dependent so please remember this this will help you a lot so this is all which i wanted to discuss with you in this particular lecture i hope you were able to understand uh, the concept of alternate work in case of any doubts please write down your doubts in the comment box if you have enjoyed the session please like share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day